your person might be coming in the way to tell you their wishes or to tell you how sorry they are and wanting to own up to this seven of cups here, um, coupled really in some ways with the, de with the devil there, wanting to come in really quite fast, guys, that eight, that action number, and talk about this 10 of cups that they're dreaming with of you wanting to offer this clarity that you have been wanting. That's why you have that wand up. It's why you have that, that hair there to pay attention to matters of the heart, excuse me, and that wand of defense a little. They want to offer you that desperately, both for you because they love you and both for themselves because they're really wrought with guilt. I have to tell you, there's a lot of guilt of how they handled it. This is a super big dream for your person. It's such a dream for your person. The question is, is it going to be a reality, Cancer? Hi, Cancer. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. And welcome if you're new to... Oh, Okay, <laughs> look what is here in the deck. This does not belong here, but it's here. So this is yours, Cancer, a more channeled song message. This is from Taurus. This is from Taurus. Yes, here it is. You're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know. I don't know. You stick around. Now it may show. I don't know. I don't know, The Beatles, something written by George Harrison, Cancer. Oh my gosh, already very goosebumpy. Lots and lots and lots of earth energy. Also a very strong Empress energy. And the Empress has been just all over readings for March readings. I'm not that far in yet, but boy, has she been making an appearance. Cancer, I love this for you. Let's see where this comes into play in your reading. Cancer, hello. <laughs> Sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs. Also cross watchers, hello. You might be here cross watching for Cancer. Maybe you're cross watching for your chart. Whatever you're doing here, I'm very happy you're here. You belong here. Messages are timeless. Now, this is being read and released in March 2022. I do this so that there is some sense of time for people to find their messages in the now. However, readings really truly are always timeless. So welcome whenever it is that you have arrived here. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this is your love reading, and it's your no contact and or in separation love reading. Also love tarot reading, as you can see, and as always, the tarot closet channeled love messages and channeled song messages reading. Now today we are looking at oracle cards again, but a really special deck. We're looking at chakra um, healing oracle cards. So I'm very excited to get into that with you a bit later. We'll see how time goes for totems and numbers and letters, guys. I am trying to keep video lengths at a more reasonable time. So I'm just going to see where I'm led and what works out. Okay, a couple of things I want to say to you. I do have playlists down below if you want to cross watch for your person, for yourself, for your chart to get a better view. When you do this, if you don't have a lot of time, I highly recommend you watch Sun and Rising. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is it can feel like a private reading. can also be that there are particular messages in particular decks at particular times. So keep that in mind as you watch and or listen to your reading today. The last thing I want to remind you is this is not a prediction. Your outcome is your own. Everybody has free will. You have free will as does everybody. Outcomes, energies can, will, and do change. So please keep that in mind as you watch your reading and please do not make any life-changing decisions based on a reading. Okay, let's get started. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you guide our cancers and anyone here today seeking guidance in relation to the person they have come here for? Interesting. Now, <laughs> this is a pretty big stack. That was sloppy. That was me sloppy. This was not. This was yours. 
Eight of Wands, um, that's pretty fast that coming in. Why? Because it's Sagittarius energy and this is a fast energy. Your person is really trying to reach you. Also, you're getting messages from spirit, guys. <laughs> wow, there's a lot I wanna say here with this one card, um, but I'm feeling your energy. Cancer, I'm always feeling your energy. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Okay, look. The Ten of Cups coming down, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Pisces energy there, Queen of Pentacles. That is Capricorn energy. It does feel fast, but look. Cancer, the Hangman, your person, your last reading. I'm almost positive in your last reading. Your person was here, weren't they? We were reading Dog Tarot, and they had the Cone of Shame down. The Hangman has this cone on, but Cone of Shame, we always just pick on our poor animals and say that, but obviously it's not a Cone of Shame. It's put on for healing. That is what the, uh, excuse me, the Hangman Energy card is. It's still there. It's the same energy. I feel like things haven't moved that much since your last reading, but let's see what's going on here for sure. Seven of Cups coming right below the Eight of Wands. Well, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Scorpio energy, commitment issues, possible choices, choices that were made that disconnected this. However, Cancer, one of the things about your partnership, one of many things, and the Empress comes through really strong in this music um, song message card that was meant to be for you, interestingly enough, uh, is the Empress. And one of the things about the two of you and your partnership has always been divine timing. The two of you are coming back together a lot. We're not gonna get into all the other lifetimes. I know not everybody is on the twin flame journey, so I will leave it at that, but I will always acknowledge my twin flames. Look at the light changing as I talk to you. It's very strong twin flame soulmate energy here, guys. And it's also very strong this divine timing and part of that that's going on now is somebody made a choice here. Um, maybe one that wasn't for, well, it wasn't for the partnership is what I want to say, coming off as commitment issues. And it really is about that. But this goes so much further than that. And I just felt really blocked. I don't know if you heard that. Your person's thinking so, so, so much about something here they've said or done. And what I wanna to say to you that comes through very strong that's still on their mind, and look, this is wanting to be yours here, guys. The Knight of Swords, um, also the Devil card. <laughs> okay, Cancer, we're gonna get one more. But what is still going on here? We don't see the cone, but this is the hangman. This is about getting perspective, learning and growing, kind of wising up, seeing something in a different way. And, a lot of times, especially since it's in the naughty corner cancer, it can be that it's a little bit of a universal push. Spirit sort of pushing somebody in the direction of healing and seeing something. We don't always change willingly. It can be, we can go kicking and screaming, guys. Um, it's really, it, it's true. People have often asked me, gosh, how did you move around so much around the world and travel alone and you know, a lot of times, especially in my when it first began, when I first started the, the trips abroad, touring, I felt like I was being pushed out. I felt like universe was dragging me by the hands and the feet and making me go. I could never articulate it then. I did not understand it because people would say, if you don't want to go, why are you going? Because the pool was so strong. The pool was so strong and it even overrided my my ego and my feet planting in the ground and saying, no, I'm not ready. No, I'm not ready. That's what I'm feeling here from this hangman energy. But your person is dying to see what you're doing, dying to contact you here. Spirit is also sending those messages <laughs> that's very interesting to you. You might be getting a lot of messages as of late, a lot of synchronicities, things going on in your life, but your person as well but it feels like there's something in their life here that is keeping this in a no contact or an, a separation more than anything, but they're still dying to connect with you, even if it's just to have you in your life. Why do we see the devil's card here, Capricorn energy? Well, first of all, I have to tell you, when the devil's card 
comes down in my readings, it can be an overindulgence. It can be somebody being a little bit obsessive. It can be what we think the devil card is here, guys. Capricorn um, energy coming through. But it's also about your connection and how tethered you are. You guys have not let each other go. And one of the things about your partnership is that you're not... You, you should... You should, and you will move on with your life if you're not coming back together now. Everybody needs to live their life and look around them. However, this tethered here, it just feels like it's not, it's always going to be there. It's always going to be someone, your person to you, you to your person. It's always going to be someone that is there in your heart that that you're that person that every now and then you're going to pop up and think oh I really want to be able to talk to them I wish I could tell them this okay um guys the queen of pentacles as well I want to say to you this Capricorn energy here excuse me and that's the other thing I do need to say to you it can be for some of you that these other lives that you have going on do involve other people, other partners. This is the beautiful Queen of Pentacles. I love this. Looking down at that pentacle, what is that pentacle? Well, it's commitment and it's the practicalities of a commitment. Here in this particular card, we have a laurel floral wreath, which is dreaming about having a commitment with someone. This is the love, excuse me, the love wreath, I want to say. <laughs> There's something very interesting about the Queen of Pentacles being paired with the Devil card here, guys. This little rabbit here, this little hair is a message from Spirit for you to take a closer look at matters of the heart. So for some of you, this can be including something going on with your person it not being maybe the right thing for you right now. Um, even talking, I don't think that's for everyone, but it can also be about something that you're doing in the way of this. Maybe not taking care of yourself. Here, Cancer, what is that? But we can see that very particular message here and very much all about this partnership that you have come here for today. And with the Devil card right below it, it's just a very interesting message. And the other thing I want to say to you is this does come to a six. This is a card number 15. And a six can be a lot about harmony and healing with another person. That's the other thing I want to say to you here. Looking lovingly at this pentacle, somebody is over here doing some work still. And it is in that naughty corner. I do feel that that is your person here. Um, and having a lot to do with the devil card, guys, and the seven of cups. The seven, all about the past, reflecting on the past and assessing what happened and where things are now and where to go. When this comes down for me, I have to say a couple of things. A lot of love here, a lot, a lot of emotion. Emotions went pretty, pretty wild here. <laughs> Cancer, you're one of the most beautifully sensitive emotional signs out there next to Pisces and well, you're a water sign, but you're one of those signs highly intuitive, empathic. You feel other people's feelings. You feel and hear things sometimes before everybody else. Definitely, we're, we're, we've got some spirituality going on for a lot of you might even be doing something in the spiritual world. But even if you're not, it really is part of the fabric of who you are. Here, looking up at those seven of, of cups, they're in the clouds. They're in the clouds. Indecision, clouded judgment. Somebody didn't make a very good choice that did not did not, um, what do I want to say, <laughs> did not help this connection that pulled it apart even further. And it's very strong here that your person wants to write that. Your person has been wanting to be in touch with you, Cancer, for a very long time. There is a little bit of ego going on. I feel that emperor energy, but it's also fear. It's fear of change. Cancer, for the two of you to come together now, it feels that there's a huge a huge, lots of huge obstacles. That's what I want to say. Life-changing stuff here. I need to get your last card and please excuse me, but are you hearing that? <laughs> Cancer. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Okay, we're going to look at this last card for you. The nine of wands coming down right below the hangman. Yeah, guys, I need to tell you, first of all, nine of wands, this is Sagittarius energy. 
Now, two things going on here. This is that hangman energy that your person has been in for a while, trying to get some perspective. I also think you're in it a little. Now, there's two, <laughs> there's a lot of things going on here. This is nine wands, first of all, nine. That is attainment and fulfillment, but that is also things coming to fruition. And part of that nine, it's almost like a reversal here, um, particularly here coming down right below the hang, the hanged one, it's called in this modern witch tarot deck, the hangman, of having been waiting and still having some defenses up here. You're, you're annoyed, is what I want to say with your person, because there's a lot you still want to know. There are things that you have not been... There are answers you haven't received and some clarification about why they were ghosting you. And you know, and they know, you both have different lives, but the disconnect was kind of a whole mix of misunderstandings, not communicating, time passing, ego getting involved, then it became a little bit of a struggle. That's what it feels like here. And also, I want to tell you there are the eight ones behind here, eight. That is a pretty magical number that also does come attached to sort of this Gaia energy, I want to say to you, this creation, um, fertility, this mothering energy. It can be actual babies, but that is definitely not for everyone. What I want to say to you about that is the eight is also a mastering something, accomplishing. It's a moving number. It's it's no mistake that those eight wands are there behind and there is one being held up. It's telling us here, your person, you want your person to come, but you're also kind of ready and on the defense a little here based a lot on how much time it's been and some of the hurts that your person hasn't righted yet. We see that here in the Seven of Cups. What did your person choose? Was it another person? Was it family? Was Did they give in to the drama listening to someone else? Was it their career here? Did they have one particular person whispering in their ear? Maybe even that themselves being afraid here choosing another love, but there you are. Um, they're looking right up at it. It's really taking precedence here. Your person knows, they're reflecting, this is the seven here. And I think they know that you're not over it, is what I wanna say, what happened here. And that's the other thing. This, a lot of you are in this already, this queen of pentacles, and you're listening to spirit already. We see that with the eight of wands also. That is spirit sending you messages. Um, that is also happening, guys. And that har there, the rabbit, the har, that is spirit again, sending you a message to pay attention to your matters of the heart. And I think that you have been. This has all been on your mind very much. And I believe that is why we see you here, Cancer, with those nine wands, but holding that one. It's a little bit defensive, but you know what else that one is? It is new beginnings. It is opportunity. It is potential. You haven't let go of your person either. You have not let go of your person, but you're trying to get some control of your emotions. Um, but there is a really strong message here from spirit too to go with the flow in that respect. And I say that to you, Cancer. We talked a lot about that in your last reading, and I, I want to reiterate that here because it's still a message that spirit is wanting to send you to listen to yourself. And part of that is going with the flow when you need to. One of the things about being a Cancer is you can go out with that tide there and fight, 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 <laughs> not realizing or not not wanting to accept or see that the tide will come back. You will come back in. But as life is, it's true. You might end up on a different part of the beach and things will be different. Cancer, I know you don't like change. That's something that's very difficult for you. And as a very emotional crab, <laughs> I was going to say creature, you will stay in that shell until you're ready. And sometimes when you come out, it's a shock to everybody because you just come out and it's like, whoo, all those emotions, all the time passing and you lay it on. And not everybody can always handle that. But I do see that you're here in that energy a little still. So there's still that message from spirit to listen to yourself, 
trust your instincts, trust your gut instinct. That Those are your guardian angels, your intuition, guys. Um, looking here at that pentacle about what it is you want, knowing that you need to take a little bit of a closer look about what is realistic, what is it that you really need, what is it that you really want. And also with your person, for those of you not coming together now, being able to release something here. Um, it's very important because I feel your person is still in this hangman energy. And I also, interestingly enough, some of you are here. Some of you are kind of in, in both situations. Doesn't that sound weird? It does. But that hangman situation of needing to heal and at the same time being defensive while you're doing your healing here, or maybe even coming out, taking a look. Is, is it okay? Nope, I'm going back in. You stay here for those of you in that energy as long as you need to, Cancer and Cross Watchers. But you got to come out eventually. That tide will always bring you back. Things might be different. It's true. But what do you want in your life? What do you want in the way of love here? Well, guys, look. This is the Ten of Cups, as we see, and this is coming right in your partnership placement, Cancer. The Ten of Cups is Pisces energy. Your person does still have hope, and I feel that you do too. We also see here with the Knight of Swords, it can be, when a Knight of Swords is coming in, I need to tell you, it can be really fast, um, wanting to change things here. And we see that with the Eight of Wands. Your person really wants to have you in their life. I don't know how much they can offer for some of you, but boy, Cancer. <laughs> oh, Cancer, they're dreaming about it. I just feel for a lot of you, they're still in their healing and you still have healing going on here. But the, the biggest thing that has come through in your readings for a very long time, and it still very much is here, I, the energy still feels very similar, is that there's there are other people and lives involved. It's very much about divine timing. Your person is very much dreaming about it. You are home to them. Home is, uh, they are home to you. It's very emotional. They're dreaming of a new start. We see that with the children. They have a lot of hope. And that's about, that as high as you can get with the emotional energy. They're very emotional for you. So don't be surprised if you think they're not. And um, hopping on this horse, sometimes I feel like your person does that in their mind and imagines it hopping on and coming. Look how fast and the horse is even looking like um, they can't keep up <laughs> with the energy of the rider. Holding onto that harness tells us there is a little bit of conflicting stuff going on. But look what they have. They have a sword here. They're riding a very emotional and passionate horse. They're holding onto that harness with purpose and determination. That sword is cutting through the sky. That is transactional, that sword, that energy. It's also about clarity and it's cutting through, wanting to offer you some clarity, wanting to clear the air and talk to you again. That was your last reading was so much about that. It was so much about that and it has not changed. Are you seeing this? It has not changed. And your person might be coming in the way to tell you their wishes or to tell you how sorry they are and wanting to own up to the seven of cups here, um, coupled really in some ways with the, de with the devil there, wanting to come in really quite fast, guys, that eight, that action number, and talk about this 10 of cups that they're dreaming with of you, wanting to offer this clarity that you have been wanting. It's why you have that wand up. It's why you have that that hair there to pay attention to matters of the heart, excuse me, and that wand of defense a little. They want to offer you that desperately, both for you because they love you and both for themselves because they're really wrought with guilt. I have to tell you, there's a lot of guilt of how they handled it. This is a super big dream for your person. It's such a dream for your person. The question is, is it going to be a reality, Cancer? Because I feel like, I'm going to get the overall energy. I feel like for some of you, they may come here and knock on that door. 
more than likely it's going to be a message and that has been coming for a very long time but your person needs to get out of this hangman energy first and see see here what's going on see what why do you need to look at a heart a rabbit at matters of the heart what happened here the devil cards right below it why are you still holding up a little bit of a defense about having a new start because we also see the seven of cups there that's why and your person knows that to some extent and like I said, there is a very strong, strong, strong energy of them wanting to come and say so many things to you and possibly even knock on that door that it's not the case for everyone. But they are still in this hangman energy. So I do feel like for some of you it might happen, but uh, there is a strong message from spirit about matters of the heart we see that with the knight of swords that they might be coming in with some stuff kind of fast putting it on you and you're saying what what to look at matters of the heart here and what went on in that devil energy this is always a beautiful card for me i know people are like what <laughs> in my love readings when the devil card comes down it's a lot about the this the connection to you this really strong divine connection but it is also the devil's card and the devil's card meaning can come through in that way, the traditional way I want to say. And it does feel like there's something here. Your person feels guilty about it. They still do. And that is why you're here a little bit on the defense as they come out living your life. Some of you, maybe you're already in this 10 of cups somewhere else in your life with someone else. I know that's not for everyone. Your person is very important to you. You're very important to your person, but this is also in your reading cancer. And spirit is also trying to send you messages to get to that. Whatever that's going to be, if it's going to be like we talked about that kicking and screaming, you know, dragging you by the feet, then that's how it is. I'm telling you, I've been talking to my sister a lot about that recently, about her um, awakening and changes in her life. And that really can be how it is. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to get the overall energy. It's kind of late, but let's just get it up and see what, um, what wants to come in to the reading. Thank you, spirit, guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we have an overall energy for Cancer's person, please? Okay. And can we have an overall energy for Cancer, please? Okay, guys, I want to remind you, these overall energies can be reversed. Yours could be your person's, your person's can be yours. And it can also be that they belong in the entire reading. We'll know that. Okay, <laughs> look, Cancer, it's your card. It's the chariot card and the high priestess. Oh my gosh. All right, here's the thing. Cancer, this overall energy stuff, why? Because you're here in the Cancer card, obviously, this is a seven, the Cancer card. This is about reflecting on the past and figuring out where you want to go. Your person is doing the same thing here, guys. You're in their energy. This is you. And look, um, I can't even <laughs> with this card. Your person here really wanting to come, guys. You're going to really need to trust yourself. Here you both are to also with the High Priestess energy. There's a decision here on the table, guys. A decision. Is it to be to see your person here with the Knight of Swords? Is this decision about talking to your person? Because Cancer, this Eight of Wands is the first card that came down. It's so, so, so strong in your reading. Your person really wanting, even if they can just talk to you. Now we're seeing it here with the overall energy. This Cancer and energy here. That vroom, vroom energy they say about this card isn't always the case for me, but I have to tell you, this is about the two of you. You see here with the Sphinx, you both have your defenses up, but in particular you. There is a decision here that you're going to need to make in regards to your person coming with this high priestess, guys. Some things maybe they haven't told you, some things maybe you haven't let go. We see that here in the Nine of Wands. We see that that defense up there in the chariot card. Your person knows here with that seven of cups what went on, what apologies they need to make. There's the devil card. They're still in your last reading and now they're still in that hangman energy here, trying to heal and figure it out, really wanting to come to you and make this offer. Now, for some of you, 
I don't know that they can, but I'll tell you, if we're looking into their heart and their mind of their dream, this is their dream, Cancer. They still have hope for you. It's very emotional. They're really wanting a new start with you. Now, as I said, for some, it will be a, a very rushed knock on the door or coming to you in a way that you got to take care of yourself. We see spirit saying that to you with that rabbit there, matters of the heart needing to be looked at. But for others, guys, and for a lot of you, they can be testing the water with this eight of wands in the way of a message to see if you have put down that defensive wand yet. Are you ready to give them a chance even just to talk to them, to hear them out here? There you are, that queen of pentacles. Are you going to look up? Are you going to look up at your person away, away from the har? away from the pentacle and look up and say, yes, I'm ready to talk. Because your person here is really desperately wanting to talk to you, Cancer. So desperately wanting to talk to you. Who, Cancer, <laughs> your readings. And here's what I want to say. Um, early on in the reading, I felt a very strong vibration and energy of not a block, but a block that's being pushed. I feel cancer that you are trying to get yourself out of this crab shell that you've been in. Either that or you're out there in the tide, not really sure how to get back. Maybe you didn't catch that wave coming back into the shore. You will always get back there. Don't worry. And this message is coming through right now for you to go with the flow. Go with the flow, Cancer. Believe in yourself. Look at what it is that you want in your life. Have hope for those of you in Hangman as well. Do that healing you need to do so you can put that, that one wand back, the, back up there with the rest of the wands, you guys. And that nine, making that, that nine of wands, which is also attainment and fulfillment. Having what it is you want. Cancer. Cancer. Going with the flow is a very important message here. And I'm putting your cancer energy there under yours, but I have to say to you, the overall energy uh, really belongs in the entire reading. There seems to be a decision here going on, and maybe for some of you that's letting your, go, your person go to a point where you can continue on with something here. I know you love your person. Your person loves you. I feel like they're still in healing mode. Some of you are as well. Divine timing has always been very big in this partnership, guys. So you trust yourself, that high priestess energy. You trust your intuition, your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels. You keep that hope. You listen to those messages from the divine. You do the healing that you need to do. You pay attention to what it is you want. Maybe you guys will talk again and you can clear that air because your person still desperately wants it, even if it's just to have you in their life again. Oh, Cancer, your readings. As you know, we got this channeled song message early. It was in the tarot deck, the modern witch tarot deck from Taurus's reading. You're asking me, why will my love grow? I don't know. I don't know. You stick around. Now it may show. I don't know. I don't know the Beatles something. Very interesting, guys. This Queen of Pentacles can be a lot about that growth. And look, there's that floral laurel wreath, that reunion, looking down at the pentacle. But that little rabbit, that little message from spirit saying, pay attention to matters of the heart. This is you. This was your meant to be your card to your person. You're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know. I don't know. If you stick around, basically, now it may show. I don't know. I don't know. The Beatles something. That's, wow. Okay. More channeled song messages. Direct song messages to you from your person. If you feel like you're sending them, please go with that. Can be your song comes down, a song of relevance to you in your connection or for you, Cancer and Cross Watchers. Can be in the way of an entire message and a whole lyric. It can also be one word, a name, a location. Take things as they resonate for you. Okay. Oh, one just there it is. It went in and came out again. What do I do to make you love me? What have I got to do to be heard? 
What do I do when lightning strikes me? Sorry seems to be the hardest word. Elton John. Gosh, you guys. <laughs> guys, um, it's your person here really wants to make an apology. I know, Cancer, you are in this defensive mode and you're hanging on to that pentacle too. You love your person. Your person loves you. You haven't let that go. It's a really strong message too, guys. There's something for you for your heart to let go. Really, if you are going to have a restart, if you guys are able, I feel for some of you, there's just different lives and it's not time. When you've come out of your healing, if this is what it is you want and your person as well, just something needing to be let go there. And that's to lighten your load. I want to tell you, this is your reading, Cancer. I love everybody. I really do. Lighten that load. Make your heart lighter, Cancer. Go for what it is you want. You trust yourself in that high priestess energy. That cancer and energy too, guys. The chariot card really about things changing and a new journey for you, cancer. It's right here with the ten of cups, which is an end of a cycle in the second placement. Connecting with your person, maybe on a very sudden, like this, just talking. That might be the beginning for some of you. Some of you, you might need that conversation or to see them in person in order to move on to something else. Whatever it is, it's very clearly on your mind. We see that here and we see there is a decision going on that you need to trust here with that high priestess energy, excuse me. But a change, the journey, the chariot card is there. That is you, Cancer. And I do want to say to you, too, those Sphinx, you know, historically, you have to tell a riddle to get past them. You both have them there, but I do feel like at the moment, yours might be staying awake all night <laughs> while the other Sphinx is sleeping. It's this feeling of, yeah, you've put, you've gone into your protective shell, guys. There might be some things you need to hear or let go. Go with the flow, guys. And yeah, that's the message coming through. I wish I had a river so long. I would teach my feet to fly. Oh, I wish I had a river I could skate on. I made my baby cry. River Joni Mitchell. Oh, cancer. When you get these, it really makes me cry. This is about that emotional energy your person withheld from you. We talked about that very beginning, in the very beginning, excuse me. This is a very emotional connection in Cancer. Your connections are emotional because you're very connected emotionally and that's how you express yourself. You make decisions, um, wear your heart on your sleeve, a lot of them emotionally. Sometimes you need to keep that in check. <laughs> I understand that. But it's a very emotional connection with your person. And guys, this river is frozen because those emotions, first of all, are very deep, but they have been, you haven't been able to get through. And your person's had trouble getting through to you. That's interesting because when you're hurt cancer, you can do that. You can go into your shell. You might come out and go rip and get them with your claw. <laughs> then you might go back in there. Then you might go in and catch a wave and go off and, and do some drastic things or even get lost in the tide and go, oh my gosh, what happened? You kind of come out of that. Um, yeah, this is a lot about those emotions needing to be thought out and dealt with. Going in there and swimming through it, guys, letting it go here. Whether it's with your person just to have a conversation again or for yourself to move on. Um, I want to put this here because that's also spirit sending messages to you. All of fate's a chance. It's either good or bad. I tossed my coin to say, in love with me you'd stay. All in love is fair. Barbara Streisand, Stevie Wonder, your person's biggest wish, Cancer. You really are. I know it doesn't always mean everything works out in the way that people say it will if we're somebody's biggest wish, but they're dreaming a lot about you guys. It's very much putting quite literally making wishes to the stars, to the universe, maybe even throwing some coins in. This belongs right here. Can't even be already that you've talked. We see this here with a decision on the table with the high priestess. Really strong need for you to trust yourself. In matters of the heart, trust yourself with the high priestess and also that coming through with the queen of pentacles. This is no ordinary love. No ordinary love. This is no ordinary love. 
no ordinary love, Sade. It's not, your love is very special. Um, I've always, I always get emotional and feel like I'm in your hearts when I read for you, Cancer. It's not. I know that it's been very difficult for you. If you are in that, holding up that wand for protection, are still in that, come out when you're ready. Put that wand down, guys. Go first, swim in that emotional energy. Let that river thaw and feel it. Make some decisions about what you want to do. Oh, Cancer. Cancer, you're easy to love. You're also hard to love. <laughs> you're easy to love, but boy, um, it's... It's hard only in that you make people see things that maybe they don't want to and you're very you get you go deep and it's a beautiful thing never change that we just all of us we need to learn to um yeah we we need to direct those emotions also to ourselves and who go with the flow more the wild and the wild and wind and windy night that the rain washed away, has left a pool of tears crying for the day. Why leave me standing here? Let me know the way. The Beatles' Long and Winding Road, written by Paul McCartney and John Lennon. Oh, Cancer, this is very much um, you here. This is you. Look, you're holding up that one wand, really almost like a weapon. <laughs> For your heart. We know that you're protecting your heart right now. You're dreaming about it. You're also um, sad in many ways. Thinking up plans for your life here right next to the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful, but you're also not quite ready to give it away is what I want to say. And there is that message to hold on. And you are. You are protecting yourself. You're in that shell, a lot of you here. Maybe you're coming out and snapping and going back in. <laughs> But this is a lot about your person having ghosted you and just disconnected with you for whatever reason. And why does this feel so emotional? Because I feel you here with this. Sorry, guys, your readings always. I feel you here with this anger that that's what you're presenting and you're putting it out to people that you're fine and you're fine. But gosh, when you're alone, it's just so different. You're holding this up for everybody else here is what I wanted to say, guys. But that eight, also that number of mastery, trying to master something, that's you and your emotions. That's also that Gaia energy, that magic eight too. Mothering yourself, trying to talk to yourself. So if there's anything negative going on in there, you get that out, okay? That's a really strong message from spirit. But you're asking your person here, why leave me standing here? Let me know the way. You've been wanting to know here. And that's partly why you're so defensive with your person here wanting to just speed right in on that Knight of Swords and possibly coming in. It's going to have to be really good, <laughs> isn't it, Cancer? Yeah, there's that devil energy. You looking right over here at that devil energy, whatever happened there, protecting yourself here too. Manifesting some stuff for yourself, which is beautiful. You're right next to the Ten of Cups. Oh, Cancer, you're reading. All right. Now, this has been happening lately. They've come in threes. And when this happens, it's divine timing. First of all, we know that about your connection. But let's see what is underneath here. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found that somebody who could make me true, could make me feel blue, and even be glad just to be sad thinking of you, Frank Sinatra. Yeah, it's the, the divine timing here. The light is changing. Your person knows what needs to be said, what they need to do. But even so, for a lot of you, they know that it's not time. They know that. But gosh, um, just even having you there, knowing you're there is comfort for them. And that has been a fear for a while that you're going to be not there anymore is what I want to say. That for those of you in the hangman energy and your person, you come out of it that you will put that wand down and you will go put it down and do whatever it is that you need to do for yourself. Guys, go on this new journey. You do have the chariot card there, Cancer. You might move those your sphinx out of the way and say, come on in. <laughs> but it could also be for somebody new that makes your person nervous here. And it has been for a long time. They're thinking of you every day. Don't think that they're not. I guess I'm lying to myself. 
It's just you and no one else. I miss you, the Rolling Stones. Oh, Cancer. Yeah, they have been lying to themselves and maybe that's why they're in that energy for so long here. Realizing the part they played. Can your person be a Capricorn? Maybe it's not necessarily the case. We have the Sagittarius energy here. Guys, when I talk about the zodiac signs, it can be that it's in your chart, your person's, but it's also not always about that. Sometimes some energies line up and they really are prominent in a reading and it's just a lot of clarification. Other times it's just a lot about that energy. So yeah, your person can be a Capricorn for sure. It's more confirmation. This tetheredness between you is here, but we also do see some of that devil energy coming out in connection to the Seven of Cups and even the Knight of Swords. Your person wanting to write something here. Who, Cancer, and they miss you. I think you're also sending that to your person. Well, here we are again. I guess it must be fate. We've tried it on our own, but deep inside we've known we'd be back to set things straight. Sharon Peter Cetera, written by Tom Shaw, Dean Pitchford. This is called After All. Oh, Cancer. Yeah, look at that. To set things straight, there is that Eight of Wands, there is that Knight of Swords. Can't get to you fast enough, really, for this clarification. But is this their mind? Will they? And will you look up? Will you be able to forgive them? And is it time for you guys? I know that it's not for everybody. Where do I want to put this? I'm going to put this um, here. Okay, guys, we're going to look at channeled love messages, direct messages to you from your person. If you feel you are sending them, then please go with that. It's about what resonates for you, Cancer and Cross Watchers. What do you want to say to your person? I trust that the universe will bring us together. Wow. Okay. I'm putting that below the Ten of Cups here. That's a flyer, sticky. When you know, you know. That is about serendipity very serendipitous connection here. Some of you have been coming back um, and in, in running into each other, that sort of thing, reconnecting. A very strong serendipitous connection and um, angel wings are wanting to be picked up now. That's a very strong message from spirit guys and your angels. It's all my fault. Who is that? Putting it here with the devil card. Um, kind of want it to actually be, excuse me guys, it actually wants to be here. Near the hangman, the devil's card and the nine of wands. And this is yours. Look, <laughs> yeah. surprise, we already know that. Serendipity, just as we said. Oh, Cancer. Cancer, your readings are always very beautiful and emotional full of love and hope too. I want to just reach in there for those of you going out with that tide kicking and screaming and pull you back and say, it's going to be okay. Just, just go with the flow. You'll come back. You'll come back stronger. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You're safe. You're safe. I love you. Oh, cancer. Yeah. We know your person loves you. It's just not even a question. But I love when that comes down. These are also yours. Yep, and coming in three. Okay. Can you hear me whisper your name? Telepathic messages, guys, flying between the two of you, I have to say. That is just not surprising at all. They're sending you telepathic messages. Okay, was that three or four? No, that's three. Okay. Yes, I think of you constantly. Some of you have been asking that. Okay, guys, I'm going to move your, your chakra oracle cards just for a moment so I can use the space. You are my favorite person, oh Cancer. We are a fated connection. Very much. This has always been about fate. Serendipity, divine timing, Cancer. That's part of who you are, you would. I have to say you're a very empathic, spiritual uh, person. I'm kind of start. I don't want to cry. I just, 
you have a very strong connection to the divine, to the universe, to other people. You can oftentimes hear things that other people can't, hear things and see things that they can't. Very strong psychic abilities for a lot of you too. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to give them a last chance after this one. It's hard to face the truth. Cancer, is that about whatever life your person is in here that they can't get out of? Something that they did, not being able to face it here. Um, ghosting you and breadcrumbing you was has been going on. Well, it was. I don't feel like most of you are talking now. But that's why your person is still in this hangman energy, trying to face that. Also, really nervous that you're 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 gone going here while they're trying to figure it out. You are my other half. There you go. We know this cancer. Very strong twin flame soulmate energy. Again, if you're not a twin flame or you don't follow the journey, please let that go. If it's not for you, I will always acknowledge my twin flames because I know that you are here. Also, soulmates. Your person knows here, serendipity, fate, you're my other half, cancer, cancer, cancer. I don't know what else I need to say. I don't think I need to say anything else. Let's put this here. I hope you can see it. Okay. All right, last chance, cancer's person. You are the sunshine of my life. I love this last chance card for you. Okay, Cancer, we're going to look at the Tarot Closet Channeled Love Messages. Then we will pull a Chakra Oracle card for you. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Can you help Cancer's person to send their messages through? What do you want to say to your Cancer? Anybody here today resonating? Look. I received your telepathic messages. Yeah, can you hear me whisper your name? You guys are really communicating telepathically. I say it a lot in my readings, guys, but really, if, if you can't speak with your person now and send messages with them, actual letters that you write and not send, maybe you want to do a ritual with them, help, but also say, um, telepathic messages, sending and being in a place where you feel like you can receive them. They're happening all the time in our lives, but if it's easier for you to be alone and to um, do some breathing exercises, some meditation to send your person these messages and listen for them, then you do that. But they're always around you coming in the way of your, your life and serendipities and synchronicities and in your dreams. Very strong connection between the two of you. Yes, I know you love me. Will you wait for me? Who's sending that? I feel your energy. You have a very strong magnetic energy, Cancer. This flipped over. You are my first thought when I wake up and last thought before I sleep. Oh, Cancer. Cancer, you are my biggest wish. We know that. We already saw that. Them throwing that coin in the fountain here. Cancer. Yeah, there's a lot of daydreaming going on with your person. Other things in your lives too, guys. I understand that. This is sticking out. My heart is yours. Well, look, it wants to be here with the Seven of Cups because I don't think you felt that way or feel that way. Might be something they're wanting to say to you. Also hear some of you sending that, but with that Nine of Wands fierceness. <laughs> Part of why you're needing to look at these matters of the heart here, guys. I know you've been really hurt. Cancers, when you get hurt, it's just like, oh gosh, it's really, it's hard to be, um, you know, to be, to not want to come and just love you up, love all on you. When you're hurt, it goes very deep. You are perfect. I love that message for you. You are so beautiful. I love that for you too. Those are affirmations you needed to hear. Okay, last chance. We're going to get some numbers and letters today, Cancer. Give me time. And there is that divine timing, guys. Okay, um, we're going to look at a chakra 
oracle card and then we're um well actually no i'm gonna channel one and then we will put our numbers and letters on it then we will read it at the end thank you spirit guides angels and ancestors okay interesting now those were flying um messy slopping but look this one is not this arrived for you it stuck to my heart that is yours numbers and letters Okay, I want to tell you guys, these can be coming in the way, um, excuse me, coming through spirit guides, angels, ancestors, your person. It can be anniversary dates, birthday dates, locations, names, initials. Let's begin. Three. But we are already starting with threes, guys. Three threes. You know what those are? Angel numbers. Not only are your guides there with you guys right next to you i'm very very strong but they want you to see what you have to offer they want you to go deeper into your higher purpose it's very very strong and look at this particular deck that they're on i feel like i need to do this look um i'm going to put it down right now we'll look at it later look your path this deck, I have not used this deck here in these readings. It was really calling to me today for you. This is very, very much about your guides working. Where are your guides working? On this path you're on here, guys. This is you, Cancer, the chariot card energy. So much here. Where is that heading? I don't think it's any accident that it's heading right there, the Ten of Cups. Oh, Cancer. This is zero. An eight a five and a six okay I'm going to look at initials can be locations you or your person names c m q p a n h g f oh looks like there's oh it's a z c and a B. Okay, so let's get this up so that you can get a better look if you want to screenshot or pause the video. Look, I'm going to put this on your trail. Your guides are with you, really wanting you to look into your higher purpose, Cancer. It's really super direct messages, those three threes. Explore what you have to offer. It really is about a magical journey for you. And we have your cancer card here. Look, we see you going off on a journey. It's magical. It's a rainbow. It's the chakra. It's the hope. Everything's here. All your chakras are um, pretty much shining here, guys. Take this path. What is it you've been wanting? Cancer, I love this for you. I love it. I love your reading. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I wish you well. Love, light, all things good. And guys, before I hang up, I hang up. <laughs> before I close the video, I forgot to mention I have a giveaway going on. Make sure you go check out the video tabs. I'm giving away tarot and oracle decks to celebrate our one year anniversary here on YouTube. Now, I didn't start uploading until almost May of 2021, but I started um, my YouTube journey on February 27th, 2021. So I did upload some, uh, excuse me, a giveaway video yesterday. So if you want to check that out, please do and enter. It's just kind of fun. Um, yeah, just wanted to say thank you for all your support and love. I love you and I appreciate you so, so much. So, so much, Cancer. You take care of yourselves, okay? You take care of your heart. You're just a beautiful soul. I love you, and I'll see you at your Cancer. next video. Look, I was cleaning up, and I realized that I did not read your chakra oracle card. So I'm going to get the numbers, whoops, and put them here on your reading, and we're going to look at it. Growth. <laughs> yeah, that's very perfect for your reading. To end on this, you're here in this energy, Cancer, very, very much. New opportunities, new beginnings, whatever that's going to be for you. You trust yourself. You trust your gut instincts. You trust your intuition. Go with the flow. Live your beautiful life. Let yourself grow. 
even when it's painful, when the universe has you by your feet (laughs) saying, do this, do this, and you know it's right, but you're scared, go for it. Cancer growth. This is a beautiful ending to a beautiful reading. Okay. Bye again, Cancer.